So the diaspora play your role fully. Let <coughs> Ruto fill your weight. The third point, foreign interference. There will always be foreign interference or attempts to interfere. But as I said, if we are using the software of integrity, and if we are using the true genuine revolutionary methods of transforming a society, they will not be able to interfere. They will have to play ball with us. How come they have not interfered in China? How come they can't interfere with Putin in Russia? How come, you know, countries have been liberated? Look, they have blockaded Eritrea for the last 30 years, and they have not been able to overthrow that government. And Eritrea is cleaner than Ethiopia that they have interfered with. So, yes, you can block the West and you can survive. The West does not own the world. They will have to do deals with us on our terms. Some of their debts we will not pay and they will have to write them off. Those are the demands we will make. And if they don't like it, we close their bases, they go back, and there is nothing they can do. All right. The next one, a new constitution. We don't need a new constitution. If we do need a new constitution, we will figure it out after removing this regime. What we need now is to remove this regime under clause one of the current constitution so that nobody accuses us of acting extra constitutionally or extra uh, legally or doing things that are not within the law. This is the reason they could not arrest me in 2018, 20, uh, up to 2022, even up to now, because they knew that everything was anchored under clause one of the constitution. We have a right to reject a government that has lost its legitimacy. That's our right. Nobody can accuse us in court because we are doing exactly what we should do. So no, let's not digress. Let's not be diverted to sub-issues about constitutions and whatnot. Finally, 